evening, we begin tonight with multiple breaking stories. Six teenagers have been shot in Aurora, a drive-by shooting at a park. We're also monitoring breaking news out of Centennial, where we have learned two people have been shot. This is a live look near the scene off of I-25 in Havana, and we know the car they were in was moving during the time of the shooting. We are waiting on more information. We promise to bring you the latest once we learn it. All right, back to Aurora. At this hour, we know one teenager is in emergency surgery in this mass shooting at Nome Park just outside of Central High School in Aurora. Police Chief Vanessa Williams says all six shot are Aurora Central High School students, and that school is where we find both of our reporters tonight. So let's first get to Denver 7 Sloan Dickey. In Sloan, police just wrapped up a news conference. They still haven't released really any information on the suspects. Yeah, they still haven't released any information there, and this is still very much an active and evolving investigation. As you can see behind me, there's still tape that marks the crime scene. They actually expanded the crime scene by about a block because they found casings on the street by our live truck. They actually had us move because of that, so this is very much an evolving investigation. Around 1 o'clock this afternoon, six teenagers between the ages of 14 and 18 were shot. Shortly after that, they were taken to the hospital. We've learned that all the teenagers are expected to survive. School resource officers played a role in helping them keep their lives as they were the first to respond to this situation. Chief Vanessa Wilson says she believes this was a drive by shooting, but there may also have been suspects on foot. No arrests have been made and we still don't know if the shooting was targeted. We did speak with one person who lives across the street from where the shooting took place. He said he heard between 30 and 50 rounds being fired at the park before he called 911. I'm a little shook about this. I mean, it's scary hearing that many that many gunshots going off right in front of your house. And then it's also it's, it's sad. It's, it makes me sad because you see these such young people and hopefully they survive. But if any of them any of them don't survive, then their their lives ended at such a young age. That's sad. You know, that's, that's that. Yeah, it's it's heartbreaking. And this is an involving investigation, so police are asking anyone for information on this shooting that happened today. They're offering up to $2,000 for information on what happened earlier today. Now I'm going to toss it over to our Liz Gilardi, who's by Aurora Central High School, where parents had to wait for hours to pick up their children after the shooting took place. And Sloan, we're here outside the high school. And what we'd want to do is give people a better idea of just how close the school is to the park where the shooting happened. You can see it's actually right across the street. And that's why school resource officers were among the first to respond once that shooting took place. We know that there are six victims ranging in age from 14 to 18 years old. The shooting very clear it did not happen at the school, just at the park nearby. The chief did say it was a drive by shooting. There may have been some people on foot and parents we talked to say students texted them to let them know about the shooting. Some of them saw it on the news and they were a little bit frustrated at the school district's response and wanting to hear more from the district after the shooting happened so close to the school. We did reach out to Aurora Public Schools to ask about that notification policy and we did speak with a mother who was trying to pick up her ninth grader. You should notify it right away. My aunt seen it on the news. That's how I got notified. And I'm all the way at work, all the way in Denver. I'm frantic. I'm frantic. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, parents frantic as they were trying to pick up their children and tonight police are still on the scene and the school is also working on a response uh, for the students and getting them maybe some uh, counseling and things together tomorrow to be able to talk about what happened, especially with six students at the school now victims of a shooting reporting live. I'm Liz Gilardi. All right, Liz, thank you very much.